80 years ago, my grandfather Hastin sailed to the Canary Islands, conquered them, and created a volcanic paradise of knowledge and development. On his deathbed, after a long life of plunder, conquest, and merriment, he held my father's hand as he spoke. Your firstborn son, he will tame Iberia. I so that's what we're gonna do today, playing as Ragnar II, son of Ragnar, grandson of Hastin, king of volcanoes, ruler of the waves, master of Maghreb, and the father of many children. We are going to finish what we started two videos ago, and create the best volcanic empire in all of Crusader Kings 3. Will the volcano vikings be able to subjugate all of Iberia, or will the Hastin dynasty slowly descend into a fiery inferno? of fire and smoke. All this and more in the final last episode of the Volcano Vikings. A new day dawns on the Canary Kingdom. The Akamonic Fakenet has uh, run into a bit of a problem. You see, for us to solve the Iberian struggle and become the Emperor of Iberia as we set out to do, I need to have my realm capital in the struggle region. Luckily, I moved my capital to Cordoba, a place with massive development. We also merged our culture, Guanors to the Andaguanors, mixing with Andalusians of this land. That made our culture involved, but we lack one thing. For us to be considered involved in the Iberian struggle, we need to have our faith, Akamonism, make up 80% of all the counties. That is quite a lot. We're already good on our way to spreading our religion, having gotten a good foothold here, but it's not fast enough. This is going to take us years, our religion is not well suited for our means. To begin with, it's pluralist, reducing the conversion speed. Sure, it offsets some of the danger where people of other faiths would join factions against us. But the downside is not better than the upside. We have megalithic constructions, but if we move away from our tribal past and further and further away from our island holding, these megaliths don't serve us as they used to. Sacrificial ceremonies is a layover from olden times. We do no longer need to sacrifice for piety. Instead, we can do pilgrimages and build temples. And lastly, volcanic veneration. This one never really made sense to begin with. It's a huge boost when it comes to living in mountains, but none of our home region was ever mountains. This is just all hills, and most of Iberia is hills as well. That's reflected well in our culture, and the Gunors, where we count as hill dwellers, giving us a massive 20% development boost to hill terrain, also letting us build cheaper. No, it is time for me, Faken Ragnar the Great, to take a step in the right direction. My grandfather might have made this religion, but I'm going to reform it. Now most of these holdings are ruled by Akamanism, which is great, but it's time for me to reform the religion. I've set it up like this, mendicant preachers for that 33 conversion speed, paired with going fundamentalist, it's by the book or nothing. Our word is the truth. Any deviation from the sacred stories is blasphemous. Fake and Ragnar is not playing around. We also went with Warmonger, letting us conquer faster, giving us access to great holy wars and invasion causes belly. We can also do conquest, letting our rulers slowly spread out. Did you think that Iberia was the last bastion of us? No, Europe is in shambles. I can give them guidance they need. I can reclaim the ancestral homelands of Montaigu. But now the question, volcanic veneration, the last thing remaining from our island holding. It gives us absolutely no bonus, and in this new land, there are no volcanoes. The volcano was always inside of us to begin with. We are the lava, we are the mountain, our blood courses through our veins like lava, our height looms over the enemies like the volcanoes, like ash after an eruption. It is time for us to move to a more modern age. But looking at the megalithic constructions, there's one thing that we could remain of our old religion. You see, Iberia is mostly hills. This would give us plus 30 to all the levies in here. That's huge. The other option would be to embrace one of the existing religions. Either going syncretic with Islam, or becoming syncretic with that of the Jesus faith, the Christians. This would make it a lot easier for us to be seen as liberators rather than conquerors when we go into Europe. We will turn to the cross. Now to reform this faith, we must abolish our head of faith title, gain some more piety, and of course name it. So let us go on a massive pilgrimage to Alexandria, and let's continue spreading our existing religion, converting them from a heresy. Muhammad is healed! Count Muhammad Il Ibn Muhammad of Mulina. You've been healed of your wounds! 
Now stop flagellating yourself and you won't get any more. I have walked the holy path and gained a bunch of piety. I can also execute prisoners and make use of the fact that I can sacrifice now. And a daughter! Oh, by my daughter wife, of course, damn. Making your own sister, huh? Yeah, but the divine blood and the quickness shows that it's no problem, huh? You Judita, and I'm no longer obese! Let's go! What's this then? My son-in-law, Duke Al-Kazim, enters the room with a grave demeanor. My lord, our coffers are almost empty! No, Al-Kazim, they're completely empty. All I have is this crown. The crown and the duty deserve it well. Do, do I sell my crown and become the crown? That's no. I sell my spouse's crown? Yeah, I'll sell my spouse's crown. You don't need one. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like that, does she? Tell you what, my daughter will be my primary spouse. Wow, stuff Crusader Kings players say, huh? My wife can also get secondary spouses, but I'm not gonna cuck myself like that. That's, that's ridiculous. The debt has been paid, and the areas are converted faster than ever. And my wife wants to play me in chess? Salutations, my fine father husband. All right, what in the gosh darn Alabama is going on here? Yeah, I'll play you. To play chess in Crusader Kings, you just gotta click randomly and you win. Excellent game. We've currently entered the conciliation phase. Which isn't really what I want because this is just us buddying up the other people. That's not a problem though. What we need is more piety so that we can reform the religion. Does this man have artifacts I can claim? I would get a sword and a few small religious carvings. That doesn't seem like a thing to go to war for. Tell you what, we will take the Emirate of Murcia. Nothing like a little bit of war fighting to get you started. Come here, you little lout. Let me fight you. Oh, we're already hugely in debt. I think I know why though. I'm sorry my dudes, Varangian veterans, but you're, you're, you're way too expensive. Get out of here. My brother-in-law wants to sell a title? No, you, you gotta get your own gold. I'm already hugely in debt that is. Oh, hello, wife, daughter. Thank you. Nice of you to come here. Stop challenging me to board games. I can't play chess all the time. I have a war to fight. And a son. Hastin. Hastin reborn. A spindly little kid. What a great namesake for my grandfather, huh? I don't want to play chess with everyone. Are you crazy? Time to marry my granddaughter. Here we go. And is it time? Oh yeah, we can do it. We just need to finish this war and abolish our title to someone else. No, we lost the Battle of Granada. What? But we're unstoppable. We're the Vikings. Come here, you little rat. Seriously, I'm gonna lose this war because everyone keeps inviting me to game night. I can't play board games all day. It's irresponsible. I have other responsibilities. No, Infante Ragnar. Damn, that stresses me out. Time to pet my cat Iberia and eat some hapish cakes. Ah, much better. Damn, he was a good marshal. Let, let my kid handle it. Let my kid handle it. Now my player heir, granddaughter, and wife is the one that rules. Ho ho, I took a fine sword. Is that a good sword, huh? No, the mace is still superior. It swings, it hits, it hurts. And I become a wise man? <laughs> Would you look at that? The savior, the wise man. And still, very much alive and kicking. Old hag of a wife died? That's fine, I have plenty of granddaughters to fill their spot. You picked the wrong castle, fool! Screams my marshal, my granddaughter, as she threatens the frightened intruder with her saber. Under further pressure from my marshal, the young man explains that he's part of a large criminal organization. Huh, the King of Thieves! Major Johannes! You a Basque bastard? I can tax them. I can make them work for me. I can kill him. Tell me where they live! Tell me their addresses! Write them down! You insufferable hag! Let's go! Come on! No, we're losing! And they took my they took my doctor! That's it! Hire the holy order! We must go in and we must protect our faith to arms. All these pitiful losses and more board games. I don't want to play any more chess. Stop. And I became a journaler. All right, I guess. I guess I'll use write in my journal. Dear diary, today it was a pretty cool day. I fought against the Al Sarak. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you, journal. Come here. Let me fight you, you dogs. Oh yeah, they're crushed. Also, damn, grandpa's like warded every kid in this dynasty. How many people are we? Six? 76? Let's see if we can marry off some more people, huh? Oh, let's ally the prestigious Vietzerks. A mighty clan from back home, the old country. And now I'm a poet as well. Wow, this man has more strings on his lute than a gent artist in the, in the medieval times. Ooh, now we are talking. No, no more chess. Stop playing chess with me! I don't want to! How do I ban chess? How do I ban chess in my country? 
I don't want it. It's old court, huh? My first ruling, Banches. I get a carpet? The whole throne room falls silent as Count Agdun. Agdun Ibn Baria walks in with a chained lion. I can make it a pet monster. Oh, I can kill it. I can make a new carpet out of it. Yeah, no, I'll take the lion. Thank you. Oh my lord. Damn, a mighty beast in my throne room. Hey, better a beast in the throne room than the bedroom, am I right? <laughs> no! Stop! No more chess! I guess playing chess gives me a lot of friends. Oh, they wanna pay to my war chest? I mean, it's like nothing. Uh, you're all too generous, thank you. We don't need money for the war chest. I'm ill? Doctor! Doctor! Fix me up right now! I don't wanna be ill, I'm supposed to live super long! There we go, my health is fine. I should also divorce my granddaughter wife here. There you go, pussy. Become true friends with Mohammed? Yeah, I mean, we did go on that pilgrimage before. <clears throat> That was kind of fun. Sure, we'll, we'll be best friends. Wow, that's so based. Let me send you a poem. Yeah, you like that poem? He loves it. He loves it. Damn, wholesome, wholesome, wholesome crusader kings. And I'm a theologian. I've completely maxed out this tree. I am truly the smartest man alive. Now we move over to becoming a diplomat. Here we go. Better competent chancellors. And my diplomacy skyrockets up to 36. Wonderful. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our prisons. They're sort of full. Let's gain a bunch more PT and a bunch more gold. Please buy back all of your kids. This is not a daycare. Buy them back. Buy back your damn kids. Oh yeah, that's a lot of money. And we also captured this guy. Thank you very much. We've taken back our holy site. Glory be to our God. Now it's time. We must make our religion more effective, faster and more powerful. It is time for me, Faken Ragnar. I will destroy the Akamanic Fakenet, and I will create a new North African faith. Hastinism! We will once again be a warmongering faith, with our mendicant preachers spreading our angry messages of hate and tolerance. Yet, we sneak in a bit of Christian syncretism here and there, preach compassion, and hope that one day our faith will spread across the plains of Europe. We will take a book out of the pages of the moon and the cross, and become fundamentalist. Our book or nothing. We will keep our temporal head of faith position. And our clerics will control the land. This is hastinism. Right away, we will spread our religion. The hastinism schism. This is a new age for our religion. Now let's see, where's our holy sites? Oh, look, they're little boats. They're little boats, all hastinians. <laughs> That's beautiful! Wow, I love it! Let's raise a runestone in commemoration of this. Now, having ransomed all of my prisoners, we are filthy rich. It is time for us to first found a holy order. Bring back the old order. The faithful of Akaman, of Grandmaster Urvar. I see, I see. This guy just has a bunch of bush hunters. I like it. We can also <gasps> sponsor Jewish sciences. Wow, let's go. Wait, that means I'm involved. Hastinism, because we have Christian syncretism. I am in the struggle. Let's go. Oh, what's this then, eh? A famed translator, Unner, has arrived at my court. After I tell them that I'm sponsoring the sciences. If it's not a Yushik, the best can be found in books of old. Listen, woman, I've translated more books than you have fingers. That might not sound that impressive, but keep in mind they only have one eye to read with. We reject old ideas. Cordoba shall prosper. Development. Oh, we could build a university in Al Magrit. And with a bit more gold, we can build pilgrim roads. And I'm no longer ill. This is a sign from the gods. Hastin smiles down upon us. The hastening religion shall spread. Oh, wonderful. Let's build those pilgrim roads, huh? Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. People will safely be able to enter our lands. And the conversions are going splendidly. But now we don't have to convert like we did before. Oh, because we're Christians. Of course. I mean, pseudo-Christians. Still very much weird haste in religion. And I have so many friends. And, and one rival? Why? Why, is you, why? why are you my rival? Now let's take a look here. As an involved ruler, let's see how we can end the struggle. Dominance. We must be in the hostility phase to do this. Wait, I could... We could do this peacefully. <gasps> That's wonderful. It unlocks the creation of the Empire of Hispania. And it would make the people of our area love each other. And it will allow involved cultures and faith rulers to join each other's defensive war against outside invaders of Iberia. And all we need 
is to get all the other rulers that are independent allied with us. We could solve the Iberian struggle! This man, my dear boy, let's ally our houses together. Why is why is that man almost T posing? <laughs> let's arrange the marriage, huh? I need an alliance with you. Well, I could take out Castile. That's one less ruler to worry about. Let's do that. That wouldn't even be that much of a problem. And a silly little flame. Call in the Holy Order in the wrong area. Raise the local army up here. And in we go. Oh, come on. Why are you running away? Also, I didn't notice, but we've researched Mangonets. Tell you what, these Volta infantry have done theirs. Yeah, we're no longer on the island. We gotta move on from that. Mangonets, huh? Well, it's certainly something to save up money for. But we discovered household soldiers. That's great. That gives us a way better size for our men at arms regiment. And an extra one. So we didn't have to remove the one we had. Uh oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Next, we'll go for manorialism. We'll get that in 20 months. Oh, this Jewish golden age is wonderful. Shout out to all the Jews making this happen. Let's sponsor some more of these projects. It's just 50 gold for a little silly ring. I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll also give this man a pardon. Why not? I'm trying to unrival him. My cat has died. No. But my health is still fine. Oh, decentralized rule? Let me not befriend vassals. Or these new ones, since we're in Iberia now. Tell you what, we'll go with decentralized rule. We have finished the adventuring tree. This will give us better taxes if we get more friends. So let's start getting a bunch of friends. One every year. Damn, I'm very respected. But I hold too many duchies. I see. We can give this away to someone. To you, sir. House Grouty. <laughs> Is that a sub-house of our house? Well, you take that, huh? Oh! And we discovered manorialism. Boom. One less ruler to worry about. Enforce the mats. Oh, oh. Get out of here. No. Wife has lovers poked. Reactor. Reactor. Get out of here, woman. Marry my best friend or something. I don't care. Wow. New wife needed. More granddaughter wives. And perhaps some new blood. We need to bring in new genetic code into the hastening family. All right. Now there's only three more rulers I have to get in here. I have Invade Kingdom, but I'd rather hold off on this. And my health is starting to fail me. No, come on, not now. We can make it happen now, huh? Svanhildir, you, you're a very intelligent woman. Marry this man and give us a cool alliance. Malik Nuri the Crownless, the Leonese. Come on, give me an alliance with you. We're allied, perfect. Now there's just one man left. Give up, give up, you lout. We can do it. We can enact the Tente. We can get the Empire of Hispania. All involved characters gain cultural acceptance, that's great. Permanently allow interfaith marriages, fine for me. Disable offensive holy wars between involved cultures, great. Permanently allows involved culture and faith rulers to join each other's defensive wars against outsiders invading Iberia. So we have like a defense league. We get massive amounts of renown and our house gains conciliation. Giving us better opinion of different cultures and faiths. Perfect for when we're entering Europe. And the Iberian struggle. The history of our people is as complex as we are diverse. We came from a volcano island. And now we've taken Iberia. A sworn guarantee of protection. Which I am only now in position to enforce. Will ensure the diverse peoples of the regions may live and worship freely. A command willing. The wars of the past will remain there. And the other Iberian princess will see the benefit of coexistence. Send out the heralds and form the empire. Oh, come on. I need even more. Wow. Well, that's going to be easy. But first, we can put out quite a few dynasty legacies. It is time to make the Hastings dynasty great again. We will max out kin, constant care, less complications during pregnancy, and better disease resistance. The Hastings house is mighty. And as my health starts failing me, I need to make an empire. The Tente is over. Only war can be. Enforce divorce between you. Leon, I never liked you to begin with. No alliance. Give me your land. Quickly. It's time to conquer. I have an idea. We're not gonna make the empire of Hispania. That's too small. We're gonna make our own empire. To do that, we're gonna need 80 realm size. And I know exactly how to do that. We will invade Aquitaine. But first, we will claim the lands of Leon using our brand new Mangonels. The first siege engine rolls out. And I keep making more and more friends, which in turn give me more and more taxes. As we have decentralized rule, each friend relation gives me plus three vassal opinion, plus two popular opinion, and plus one vassal tax contribution. Wonderful. 
Keep sieging, my brave lads. Keep sieging. I have lovers, pokes. Oh, come on. No, I'm being cast away by everyone. Get all of these holes out of here and slay the enemy. Castile is ours. Our land is connected beautifully and Aquitaine beckons. If we take this land, there is a whole lot of holdings. But first, we should have an exotic feast. Something to increase our spirits and hopefully gain a good trait that will help my health boost a little bit more. Feast was decent, but what I need is health. Give me a mystical communion. I want to talk to the gods. The gods didn't listen. I'm not surprised. Let's see if we can get a cat or something. Make me tapestries. Make me weapons. Let's regain some of our gold. Tell you what, my health is failing me. We must take King Jax the smellest Aquitaine from him and rule it as ours. Invade the kingdom of Aquitaine. To war! Holy order, raised. Orvis, raised. Varangian veterans, you gotta stay home. God damn it, you're too expensive. And in we go. Calling all based alliances. Calling all Iberians. <laughs> we are at war. Oh, there he is. What do you intend to see just down, huh? That place means nothing to me. Boom. Their lands will be ripe for taking. I will send some lads away. Once you see this place down. Oh, Fiker Ragnar's tapestry. Beautiful, beautiful. And a regalia. Th that's all right. All right, let's clear out these schmunks. Send in Duke Tello loses. Oh, you should not have come here. I mean, you should have come here to defend your land, but you have to come here. Oh, yeah. Boom. Aquitaine is ours. Huzzah. Canarias. How close are we, huh? We can do it. We can do it. I just need to ransom all my prisoners and then we have it. Plenty of ransoming has made me rich beyond belief. But the most important acquisition is that of our homeland, Montaigu. Quickly, make it the correct religion. Make it the correct culture. Now we just need a little bit more gold. But first, let's talk to all the lords in the area. I am such a powerhouse when it comes to faith that most of them will accept. Please, my friends, please. Reconsider your Christian ways and join me, Hastine. Or, well, the embodiment of Hastine. He who was Hastine. He who raids but does not. He who loves you, but also... God damn, it's a funny dwarf. But also is willing to hear what you have to say. Convert, and you will all be blessed by Akaman. Hussar! Hussar! Please come and be baptized in mead. Become a true Hastine today. You are all loved. Oh, Countess Mino! You give me just enough money to found a new empire. Why settle for Hispania when we can have the Canary Empire? We are Hastinia and we rule this land. Oh my lord, Koifish, you're, in, you're insane. You're absolutely insane. That's so much land. And it's all being converted so quickly. That's huge. That's huge, I tell you. Everyone loves me so dearly. And if they don't want to convert, and I speak to them, they want to convert. I am truly the most shadish of all men. My word carries power. And my best friend wants to make us cool in stewardship? Absolutely. And he wants to play chess? Fine. No matter how big of a ruler you are, you always have time to play chess. What the heck is Ravensburg? King Jürgen of Ravensburg? That's not a real place. How did you become a king? That's so goofy. The world is still a mess. But we, we have carved a slice of the pie. The Hastine pie. Well, I knew it was coming. At the ripe age of 83, I've gotten the warning. I have one more year to live. We truly have a glorious empire. Having gone from little Montaigu all the way down here to the island of the Canary, conquering Morocco, subjugating Iberia, uniting it in peace, and snatching Aquitaine for ourselves. One cannot say that Fake and Ragnar the Equitable has done well for himself. And now Count Nadbor Iliason? Who are you? You're not a worthy heir. This man can't be a proper ruler. Let his child take over. We will move over to partition. That way we have safe kept the land from breaking up. I think. I hope. What more can we do before we pass on to the other realm? It is time to meet my maker. And I will ask upon him when I see him. Akaman, who the heck are you? I've been hearing so much about you. <laughs> no, for real, we should probably do something fun before we die. Let's make the last race of our life something fun. Something that we can remember. I will take some hapish cakes. Damn, that's delicious. I will write down my thoughts. Damn, that's so fun. Everyone loves me. I can only hope that you are as loving to my 
<laughs> insolent grandson, Count Nadbor? I have no idea who this man is. But alas, no, not before I die. Come on. Game, why'd you have to hit me with being fat? Game, call me fat, huh? Let me die in peace, goddammit! Oi! Finally! Faking the runner of hastening, faking it. Has given up the ghost at the age of 84. He died of old age. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could still not outsmart Gyota. Faking that but ascends the throne. Having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Long live Emperor! Faken Nadbor Eliasson. Tell you what, it looks like the realm stayed intact. Wonderful. I will raise a runestone about my departed father, Ragnar. Ragnar the Shad. Put it in Cordoba, the capital. He was so cool. I will then pull a Pope move and rename myself Ragnar so that I am Faken Ragnar too. Nay, I know what I will do. And to fulfill the circle, I will make Hastin. Hastin too. We need a Norse woman. Is there no one left from to bring him back? We need... You don't look very Swedish, I'm sorry to say, but uh, something has gone awfully wrong here with the little genetic pool. This one will be perfect. More spouses are needed. I must ensure that Hastin is reborn into this world. Perfect. My spouses. I will bring Hastin back into this world. What? They took all my court artifacts? No, the Hastin throne! No, King Colbane! You took my... Th you took my throne! Very well then, that's going to have to be for the next episode. We've done a lot, but there's still much more to do. If you want to see me continue this series, then tell me down below in the comments. It's up to you guys. I'm fine with moving on to something else, as I've succeeded in my goal. But if you want to see where this dynasty can go next, tell me in the comments and I'll make it happen. Hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, stay hasty in my dudes. Yeet!